Yeah, they can't stop you, Lord. There's no stopping you because of who you are and what you do. Yeah, your kingdom come, your will be done. And oh Lord, you reign forever and ever. And oh Lord, you rule and reign now forever, Lord. It's this little spontaneous song, songs for the moment, spontaneous songs for the room or for the people that are listening. They're spontaneous songs. It's awesome, isn't it? And Lord, you reign forever and ever. Lord, you reign forever and ever. Lord, well, Lord, you rule and reign. Forever and ever, somebody say yeah, hallelujah. Somebody shout amen. And I, 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 Lord, you reign forever and ever and ever. Lord, you reign now forever and ever. Lord, you reign forever. Lord, you reign. Oh my God, it does my heart does my heart so much good. I'm lifted in these moments because of the power of His Holy Spirit. Na, 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 na. King of kings and Lord of lords. King of kings and Lord of lords. Yeah. King of kings and Lord of lords. salutation of people is a don't forget and as always Jesus <laughs> Jesus rules and reigns forever and we're going to go deep right here the song your love has ravished my heart and we're going to be doing Psalm 82 I'm going to do a song called I will plead the cause of the needy from my good friend and worship leader Kim Bollinger but your love your love has ravished my heart over and over over and over and all I want is to be with you forever if you don't know it, learn it with me today ravished my heart and taken me over. <laughs> I keep thinking, man, instead of anger, your love has taken us over. And all I want is to be with you. 
you for it. Anger has ruled so many people's lives for so long, and then they meet the Lord, and this happens. Your love has ravaged my heart and taken me over and taken me. It's taken me over, Lord. Yeah, 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 yeah. And all I want is to be Jesus with you forever. With you forever. For the chorus, here we go. And pull me a little closer and take me a little deeper. I want to know your heart. I want to know your heart. Because your love is so much sweeter than anything I've tasted. I want to know your heart. I want to know your, pull me a little closer, pull me a little closer, take me a little deeper, I want to know your heart, I want to know your heart, cause your love is so much sweeter than anything I've tasted, I want to know your heart. Oh, 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 how great is your love. 
just two days ago, you guys, we were doing John 3 and the words of Jesus. For God so loved the world that he gave. He gave his only begotten son. That whosoever, whoever, whosoever believes on him and on his name, will never perish, but have abundant, everlasting life. <laughs> so we do it, did a, oh, 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 God so loved the world, God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son. I can't hear you, Ken, could you sing it again? Yeah, I can. God so loved the world, he gave his only, he gave his only begotten son. He gave his son, he gave, he gave, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. how great your love is for me. It's a human lyric to the King of all glory, our Savior. Pull me a little closer, take me a little deeper. I want to know. Come on, get in, you guys. Let's sing it. Let's go for a couple minutes. Because <laughs> your love is so much sweeter. Than anything I've tasted, I want to know your heart. Here is God. This is our cry, Jesus. chest and you said you're my beloved child and he could hear your heart beating in the three and a half years of your earthly ministry your beating heart we gotta know your beating heart we need to know more what it sounds like and what your heart is beating for today ah the Lord that you might hear his beating heart what's your heart oh what's your heart is beating what are the causes of your heart today Lord yeah. what are the causes that your heart is beating for today the end of human sex trade trafficking the end of human slave labor around the world. What you got, Kent? I'm telling you right now what I got. And the end to the killing of alive, unborn babies. <clears throat> oh, it's, it's a high-level cause. Wow. And when we look at Psalm 82, before I teach you, I'll plead the cause of the needy. We should open your Bibles there before we narrate it. Verse 3. Psalm 82. Here's some of the causes of his beating heart. The Psalm of Justice, Psalm 82. Defend the poor, Lord, and the fatherless. Vindicate them. Do justice for the afflicted and the needy. 
it's so outrageously poetic and deep. Your heart melts. Psalm 82, verse 3, defend the poor and defend the fatherless, Lord. <laughs> Vindicate them. Do justice for the afflicted and the needy. Stand up for the poor and the orphan, the orphan. Advocate for the rights of the afflicted. Yes, let's do that. Judge for the needy, Lord. And the motherless child, too. Oh, my God. You guys stay with me. Man. This, this is life-altering, heart-changing. Give justice to the meek, the weak, and the poor. If that's not a song lyric, I don't know what is. Give justice, Lord, to the meek, the weak, and the poor. Please, Lord, do the righteous thing for the weak and for those who do not have a father. He can do this, guys. That's why we pray and seek his face. Stand up for the rights of those who are suffering. And this, the Passion Bible on this verse three says, defend the defenseless, defend the fatherless and the forgotten. And by the way, Lord, don't forget the disenfranchised and the destitute. These five categories cover so much of the face of the earth. Think of this, you guys. Lord, defend the defenseless. What a group. What a category. Defend the fatherless, Lord, because they can't fend for themselves. And defend for the forgotten, the disenfranchisement, and the disenfranchised. And then there's the destitute. Wow. My friend John Woltz in Wichita, we were in Heston for the Feast of Trumpets, and we went to the new ground they bought, which they dedicated. It was 157 acres or something like that, and he had on a shirt, all babies' lives matter. <laughs> I said, whoa, man, bro, you got, he's got guts. He's wearing it in public. All lives matter, but all babies' lives matter, so... Would you get ready now? Hear this song, I Will Plead the Cause of the Needy. Kim Bollinger, who's written some really powerful stuff. My friend is a worship leader. This is probably one of the top cause-driven songs I've ever heard in my whole life, saved or unsaved, secular or religious, secular or Christian. She wrote the lyrics, I will plead the cause of the needy. I will give my time for the hungry. I will pray for righteousness to spring forth like the rain. I will not forsake you, my Father. I'll set my gaze upon no other. Holiness will be my goal as I sit before your throne. Help me do justice to this, Lord. I will plead. The cause of the needy, I will give my time for the hungry. I will pray for righteousness to spring forth like the rain. You, my Father, I'll set my gaze upon no other, and holiness will be my goal as I sit before your throne.
There's an urgency. We're going to bust right into Psalm 82. And again, we're calling out the judges. We're going to be praying against human sex trade, trafficking, abortion. We're going to take some time. Before November 3rd, we've got time still to pray. Change the hearts and lives of the millions, Lord. Change the hearts and lives. A plea for justice is what they call this psalm. And the Lord sets a standard. He says, all you judges, I'm coming now to judge you. (laughs) And I know Carla, we had done this song before. I want to find this. Yeah, I want to read the message before we start. Because he said, I commissioned you judges, each one of you. I commissioned you deputies of the Most High God. But you betrayed your commission because you gave favors 
and you grace the evil when I said not to do it. Oh, my God. So, you guys, this, we have had a great worship time, but now on this Thursday, we're going, we're going to do some prayer and intercession. I mean, isn't that awesome, hun? I commissioned you judges, each one of you, in my name. I made you deputies of the Most High God. <laughs> Woo! But you betrayed your commission, so you're going to die just like all other men. <laughs> Let the fear of the Lord be on us. So pray us and read the scriptures first. Huh? So it's only appropriate that we're sitting here right now while That's right. a godly woman That's right. sits Come before on. the Senate in Amen. confirmation to be sit seated on the Say highest Say court of our land. A Amy woman. Coney Barrett, yes, spirit-filled Christian lady who obviously moves in the wisdom of God we've watched any of the hearings at all and judges of the Lord so the three the three points that Kent picked out of this uh, psalm was Jesus. for God now comes to judge he judges yeah. every judge and ruler so cool. yes. the second one how long will you judge unjustly and show partiality oh. to the wicked oh. and the answer to Ooh. that is he's coming to judge and he's already begun I believe that the bowls in wow. heaven in concerning this area of unjust judges has been filled up and is getting poured out and that we're going to see a lot. Uh, God had to clean up the courts. If he's going to clean up the corruption, he had to clean up the courts. And by the way, Trump has now appointed over 300 judges. Amazing. So some of that has been changed straight up. Right? Absolutely. Wasn't it? Obama left him open. Thank you. Appreciate it. Because I thought she was going to win. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Boo-hoo. <laughs> Crying those big crocodile tears. <laughs> Not really. But anyway, we are going to... Uh, <coughs> Excuse me. We're going to read through this. We're going to pray through this. We're going to take some stands. We're going to see God move. Right now when we really need to see God. Move. Yes. And the church needs to wake up and move with him. And if you're asleep, wake yourself up. Kick yourself in the tush. Yes. Get out there and vote. Let's go. Fifty some odd million Christians were not registered. That's wrong. It is wrong on every level. Uh, you can think that God's gonna you know, God's sovereign, he's gonna come and do something, but he puts you in a land that has the constitution that we have and the civil responsibility that you have as a as a, a citizen of this United States. Let's go, man. Come on. So don't think that God's going to move without the church and don't sit in your house and pray and say, God, do something about the mess that we're in. He's saying, you do something. I gave you a system of government that doesn't exist on the face of the earth, and you can do something about it. So do something about yeah. it. Psalm 82, verse 1. God stands in the congregation of the mighty, of the heavenly beings, the Elohim. He judges among the gods and among the <laughs> earthly rulers. Jesus. The true God stands to preside over the heavenly council. He pronounces judgment on the so-called gods. When all of the other gods, those who think they are gods, the leaders and rulers of the nations have come together, the Lord God judges them and says, The Lord stands in the divine assembly to open heaven's court in the midst of the judges he gives judgment God stands in the assembly of the representatives of God in the midst of the magistrates and the judges he gives judgment as among the gods oh my God. all rise for God now comes to judge <laughs> as he convenes heaven's courtroom he judges every judge and rules over every ruler, <laughs> saying, Lord, you pre 
preside over. Lord, you preside over the heavenly console, the earthly console too. Lord, you will rise and you preside over heaven's console. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. You preside, Lord, over heaven's console. And we know you preside over the earth, consulars. See, we count on you. We count on you. Yeah. The passion says, all rise. All rise now, for God comes to judge the judges. He convenes heaven's courtroom. Lord, you judge all the judges. I love that. You'll judge all the judges. You won't get away with evil forever. And you rule over every ruler, Lord. You rule over. Well, you judge. You come and judge the judges. Verse 1, God, right here in Psalm 82, it does our hearts so much good. You rule over every ruler. You judge over every judge, Lord, how you rule over every ruler. You rule and reign in justice. You rule and reign, God. You rule and you're judging with justice, God. We lift our hearts to you right now. And Carla was finishing each one, and he said, this is what he said in verse 2, how long will you judge unjustly and show partiality to the wicked? Wow, I'm going to have to take a minute on this. Uh, You know, we're not supposed to do it, but people do it. I mean, they just, partiality to the wicked. Why would you do that when they have unjust gain and they're mistreating and abusing people? But he said clearly, and by the way, there's a say law after it. So let me say this to you, the Lord said, how long will you judge unjustly and show partiality to the wicked? And by the way, why don't you wait like three minutes for the musical interlude and think about what I just said? <laughs> He asked, how long will you judge dishonestly and be partial to the wicked? No more mockery of justice, says the Lord. No more mockery of justice. No more favoring the wicked. How long will you keep judging unfairly and favoring evil people How long will you judge wickedly and make exceptions for the sinners? Whoa. And how long will you judge? Will you judges refuse to listen to the voice of true justice? Oh, I gotta say it again. How long will you judges refuse? Set your heart against listening to the voice of true justice. How long will you judges continue to corrupt what is right? It's convoluted. We were just saying, Carl and I, what, it, what is good is, is evil now. What is right is wrong. It's all convoluted upside down. Not with the Lord and not with his people. Because they were judging in favor of the wrong. And so we're going to take a few minutes before we go to verses 3 and 4. We're praying CTR. I'm back on it. We pray conviction, truth, and revival come in our nation right now. Everybody lift up your voice and praying conviction, truth, revival. CTR, CTR, conviction, truth, and revival, Lord. Bring conviction, truth, and revival all across this land, all across this land. CTR, the center, conviction, Lord, truth and revival, we pray, 
conviction, Lord, truth and revival, we pray. Come on, everybody pray. Pray in the Spirit. Pray in English. Pray in Spanish or French, whatever you got. Insert your nation name. God, we ask right now, in the name, in the name, in the name, Jesus, in the name of the Lord, CTR conviction, conviction, truth, revival in the land, conviction, truth, revival in the land. I want Carla to pray this prayer right there. Touch the judges, son. Father God, we pray that you would bring conviction to every courtroom in this nation and all the nations of the earth. You blow the doors off if you need to blow the doors off, God, with the power of your spirit. Bring a healthy fear of God into the hearts and minds of every judge in this nation. But they know that you are not pleased, that you are not pleased with how it's been going. And that you are bringing judgment. Yes. And if they want to be on the right uh, side of history, they uh, better get their act together and yes, get it right. God. Uncover the truth, God. The truth that's been covered over, covered over every single day in the courtrooms for the sake of gain and greed and corruption and power. God, we pray that you uncover the corruption that's going on in every single courtroom in this nation. Jesus. You uncover the corruption, you this, God, and you God. call yeah. it out. You call it out for what it is, God. And open the eyes of the people. And please, God, heal the hearts of the victims that have been raked yes. over the coals because of the corruption that's in this nation. Heal the victims, God. Heal their families. Help them to know that their injustices will not go on forever, God, that you're in the process of healing, and you're going to do it in a big way, God, as we stand back and we watch you move with your mighty hand of justice. And through that, God, through that revival, revival comes because the eyes are open to see the truth. God, people need to see the truth. They've been duped for so long, but open the eyes and the ears of your people and the people of this nation, that they might see the truth of how they've been taken advantage of for the sake of greed and power and evil, just downright evil, God. Open their eyes, open their minds, open their hearts, and have them repent, God. And pray for your mercy. Let your mercy come, God. Your grace and your mercy come like you want to bring it. You don't want to come in harsh judgment, God. You want to come in mercy. So help us to see your mercy come in this area, in this realm, in these courts of this United States, in the courts of Great Britain, in the courts of Australia, in the courts of New Zealand, in the courts of Canada, in the courts... Of, of democracies across the world and then bring down the evil dictators that have been holding people slaves and captives in Jesus name we pray oh mercy and justice God mercy and justice oh mercy and justice oh Lord throughout this land will your healing our land with mercy and justice healing mercy and justice, the healing. Come on, you guys, that's awesome. Now we're going to venture on in Psalm 82, verses 3 and 4. We're going to keep that prayer fire going. We'll have two more prayer segments. Defend the poor, Carl. Verse 3. Defend the poor and fatherless. My God. Vindicate them. Do justice to the afflicted and needy. Defend the poor and fatherless. Vindicate them. Do justice to the afflicted and needy. Stand up for the poor and the orphan. Advocate for the rights of the afflicted and those in need. Judge for the needy, Lord, and for the motherless child, too. Give justice to the meek, the weak, and to the poor. Do the righteous thing for the weak and for those without a father. Stand up for the rights of those who are suffering and in need. 
dispense justice to the needy and for the orphan, uphold the rights of the oppressed and the destitute. Defend the defenseless, defend the fatherless and the forgotten, the disenfranchised and the destitute. Defend the defenseless, defend the fatherless and the forgotten, the disenfranchised and the destitute. And this is what we know for sure. You defend the defenseless. This is what we know for sure. You defend the fatherless and the forgotten. Fatherless, the forgotten and the poor. This is what we know for sure. Come on, everybody, sing it. It's a song of prayer. This is what we know for sure. You defend the defenseless. No, 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 no. This is what we know for sure. You defend the fatherless and the forgotten, Lord. Oh, this is what we know, yeah. And this is what we know for sure. You defend the defend the defenseless on this earth, but not with you, Lord. This is what we know for sure. You defend the fatherless and the poor. Do it again. This is what we know. And this is what we know for sure. You defend the defenses. This is what we know for sure. You defend the fatherless, the forgotten, and the poor. Yeah. Oh my God. And this is what we know for sure. You defend the defenseless, Lord. This is what we know for sure. You defend the fatherless, the forgotten, and the poor. You give justice to the meek, to the weak, and to the poor. Judge for the needy, Lord. Judge for the fatherless and the motherless child. Verse 4, deliver the poor and the needy. Free them from the hand of the wicked. We are going to wear that out. We're saying, God, give them liberty from the hand of the wicked. All these sex trade trafficker managers and people doing it, making money, you're going to free them from the very hand of the wicked men that are doing even their slave labor still around the world, believe it or not. God, it's amazing. Rescue them from their evil oppressors, the voice says. Rescue the weak and the homeless from the powerful hands of such heartless people. I'm going to stay right there. Why don't you, Kent? I think I will. Rescue the weak and the homeless, Lord, from the powerful hands of the heartless people. They're monsters. They're brutal monsters, Lord. Rescue, Lord, the poor and the needy and save them from the power of the sinners. Save the weak and those in need. Set them free from the hand of the wicked man. No, 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 no. Save the weak and those in need, Lord. 
set them free from the hand of the wicked man and woman, Lord. Save the weak and those in need. Set them free from the hand of the wicked man. Save them from the wicked man, God, the weak and those in need and the poor. Check it. Because your duty, yes, your duty is to deliver the poor and the powerless. Liberate them. Freedom. Liberate them from the grasp of the wicked the passion I love it the passion says get busy and prophesy proclaim and decree liberate them from the grasp of the wicked I'm going to have Carla do the second prayer segment she's going to read it and then we're going to start praying with your unfailing help Lord we ask cut off the flow of the trafficking of human beings in America and around the world we come against the networks that have been set up for centuries that, you know, that offer their sacrifice to the false gods, gods of this world, the satanic kingdoms that have been set up to, you know, to, to facilitate power and greed and, and, you know, just every lust of every kind, God. And they're using the innocent children. We come against those networks. We bring them down by the power of your spirit. And we speak in the name of Jesus. You loose your hand. You bales, you baphomets, you evil, evil, evil creatures in this world that think you own this world. We say Jesus Christ is Lord. And you will come down and you will receive the judgment that you deserve from the heavenly Father who is all righteous and all just. For the throne that he wow. sits on alone wow. sits on righteousness and justice. And if you think otherwise, you think wrongly. And you, don't, you have no idea who this God is that created you and created everything else. And he owns it all and he carries it all in the palm of his hand. And he's coming with justice and he's going to release the children and he's going to heal the children and they're going to come out and they're going to tell the truth of what's been going on in this world prepare people God to hear the truth because I know you're bringing truth and you're bringing it out stop the sex trafficking stop the slave labor stop the killing of innocent people to harvest their organs for the sake of people who can afford it rich and powerful and elite of this world who thinks think that they own everything they don't Jesus. own anything and they'll suffer Jesus. the rewards of everything that they've sown in this world and in their life wow. come God Jesus. cut off slavery of every kind yes slavery in every nation evil dictators who think people belong to them people belong to God souls are real spirits are alive ah. and they live forever and we see in revelation where their souls are under the altar crying out and asking how long will it be until justice comes for my for my life how long will it be god before the angels pour out the bowls of judgment and justice in this earth let us be ready as your church god seasoned ready not naive. Grow us up, God. Your church, grow us up. We ask for the end of abortion and the killing of the babies. The, the blood cries out from the ground Jeez. of this nation. It's like I, I shared on Saturday the lyrics to Ariel's song. Awaken us, God. The blood cries out. The blood around the world that has been has been shed for the sake of freedom. The freedom fighters that started this nation. Those that fought to end slavery and lost their lives. That blood cries out. The Native Americans that were slaughtered, their blood cries out. But the babies, God. 
the babies is the worst because they didn't have a voice to begin with. Nobody, nobody heard their cry. Nobody heard their voice. We take Jesus. up their voice right now and we say we cry out for justice to come to end oh abortion in this nation, end abortion oh around God. the world, God. End it, finally end it. Conviction, bring conviction. Bring conviction, God, that it's just flat out wrong. Open the eyes, even Christian people involved in the abortion industry, how could they do it? Open their eyes, God, that they see the evil of what it's all about. Truth, bring your truth, God, that Planned Parenthood and abortion clinics are not there for the sake of helping women. They're there for another reason, and that reason is as evil as evil gets. They're not there to help anything other than the devil and his blood sacrifice. Open the eyes, God. Bring truth. And then bring revival. Yes. Bring revival, God. We decree it, God. We decree it in the name of Jesus. Wow. The time has come. Yes, the, the time, time is has now. Come. It's all come to fruition. It doesn't go on any longer. Let your people stand up fast and pray. Stand in front of abortion clinics with life tape on their face. Stand in front of, of courthouses all across this nation, God. Speak for those that can't speak for themselves. Bring your awesome light to bear on all that is being done by abusers, traffickers, and wicked men. We cannot and will not be silent any longer. Verse 5. They do not know, nor do they understand. They walk about in darkness. All the foundations of the earth are unstable. These bullies are ignorant. They have no understanding of my ways. So as they walk in darkness, the foundations of the earth tremble. None of you know or understand a thing. You live in darkness while the foundations of the earth tremble. The magistrates and judges know not. Neither will they understand. Ignorant and senseless, they carry on blindly, undermining the very basis of earthly society. But you know not, nor do you understand, that you go in darkness, and that all the foundations of the earth have been shaken. And the Passion says, But you continue in your darkness and ignorance, while the foundations of society are shaken to the core. Verse 6, I said, you are gods, the Elohim, you're the consulars, and all of you are children of the Most High. But you will die just like men and fall like one of the princes. Wow. Note, where is your consul coming from? What consul are you listening to? He said, I rule over the heavenly consul and the earthly consul too. I said, you are like gods. You're all sons of the most high, but you will die like men. I was the one to say that you should be like as a God, all of you being kin of the most high. Interesting. He said, I was the one to say that you should be like a God, all of you being kin to me as the Most High. But you will die no differently than any other mortal. All the great rulers, all the great people, all the money they've assembled, you'll fall like one of the princes. But you will die as all people must die. Your life will end like that of any ruler. Gone, kaput, finished. 
This is incredible. The message says, I commissioned you judges, each one of you, deputies of the Most High, but you betrayed your commission, and now you're stripped of your rank, you're busted. <laughs> you can pray that straight up. Just hear it one more time. I commissioned you, the Lord says, as judges, each one of you, deputies of the Most High God, but you betrayed your commission. And now you're stripped of your rank, busted. Didn't I commission you as judges? And this is what I said. You are all like gods since you judge on my behalf. Wow, that would be something to pray for all judges, that they see they're judging on the living God's behalf. You're all like the sons of the Most High, my representatives. Nevertheless, in death, you're nothing but mere men. You'll be laid in the ground like any prince, and you will die. And we're praying over all judges everywhere in America and insert your nation's name. A revelation and a heart chain. All judges, all judges everywhere, God, where well, we're praying. Revelation and heart change, conviction, truth, revival and righteousness, conviction, truth, revival and righteousness, conviction, truth, revival and righteousness. I'll do it again. Oh, conviction, truth, revival and righteousness. CTR. Conviction, truth, revival, and righteousness. We pray a revelation and a heart change over all judges. Couldn't hear you, Kent. What'd you say? I said, we're praying over all judges everywhere because you're that big, God. All judges everywhere in America. Dreams in the night, visions in the day. They're going to come about like the ship on the ocean. They're going to do a 180 and say, I can't judge for the wicked anymore. I can't do improper justice and judgment. The Lord is convicting me. Truth prevents me from doing the wicked and the evil thing, judging improperly. Lord, we're praying. You can tell this is on the tip of our heart and tongue, God. Praying for judges everywhere in America will change with the revelation of your life. They are changing now. Well, they are changing now. Well, they are changing. This is the psalm of the moment and of the day and of the season and the region. Psalm 82. There's one verse left. I'm going to have Carla just pray into it. Conviction. Do it with me. We said conviction, truth, revival, and righteousness. Conviction, truth, revival, and righteousness. Conviction, truth. Revival and right. CTR, I didn't realize when the Lord gave it to me and I wrote it down. It's the center. This is the center where the spirit of the fear of the Lord comes. Carla, anything you want to pray and then bust out verse 8. Father, we just pray for every judge in this nation and courts all around the world, God. And when you begin to uncover the types of corruption that's been going on for hundreds of years. When you start to bring light, let them shake in their boots, God, depending on what side of history they've been standing on. And cause them to repent, God, and uncover the truth that they know. Uncover the corruption that they know about God. That you could clean, that we can clean house and we can have a clean house to look forward to. Because you want to bring revival, God. You want to 
You want people to get out of the valley of decision. So let your conviction fall. Let your revelation light shine. Hearts and lives to hear and are changing in Jesus' name. Verse 8. Arise, O God, judge the earth, for you shall inherit all nations. Fear of the Lord is the foundation of true wisdom, and all who obey his commandments will grow in wisdom. Praise him forever. Rise up, O true God, judge the rulers of the earth. Yes. For all the nations shall be thy inheritance. Say who is guilty or not guilty, Lord, upon the earth. For all the nations belong to you. You own all the nations. Stand up, Lord God. God. You dispense justice on the earth, since no nation is excluded from your ownership. All rise, for God now takes his place as judge of all the earth. Don't you know that everything and everyone belongs to him? The nations will be sifted in his hands. And out of this, God, we pray that every nation on this earth, that the people in every nation on this earth have the ability to take a stand for Woo! righteousness. We see where you have sheep nations and goat nations, God. We see in Revelation where entire nations are given to you by the rulers who rule the nations. So we pray for the people of this world right now that are fighting for freedom, that are standing up for freedom in the face of dictators and injustice. God, we pray that they would have strength and courage. Know that your body, your people are standing with them in prayer, God, that they would see truth and be free and have the ability to make choices, make choices based on righteousness, God that their children and their children's children would be free to choose because your word says, choose you this day whom you will serve. We choose you, God. We choose you, Jesus. I'm going to sing that New Living Version. Lord, just go ahead and say who is guilty and who is not. Lord, upon the earth, do it. For all the nations belong to you. I love this line. You own all of the nations. You say who's guilty. You say who's not guilty, Lord, upon this earth. For all the nations, all the nations belong to you. You say who's guilty, Lord. You say who's not guilty, Jesus, upon this earth. For you own all the nations, they belong to you. I love that. Stay with me for another minute. You say who's guilty, Lord. You say who's not guilty, Jesus, upon this earth. For the nations you own, all the nations, they belong to you. Fear of the Lord. Yes, the fear of the Lord is the foundation. You arise, O God. You arise, O Lord, to judge this earth. You rise up, O God. You rise up, O God, and you judge the rulers of the earth. For all the nations, you own all the nations, they belong to you. You rise up, O God, you rise, Lord. You rise up, O Lord, and you judge the rulers of this earth. 
for all the nations. You own all the nations, they belong to you. You rise up, all rise, for God now takes his place as judge of all. The, I tell you, no, no, I'm not all that after all. I'm not that big, smart. I'm partially anointed. I thank God for it, but I'm telling you guys, wow, this Psalm 82 will lay you out, man. It'll lay you low, which is good because we want the spirit of the fear of the Lord. He is the judge of all the judges. When you have a really bad day, when things are not going good for you, you can always say and pray, Lord, you are the greatest judge. You're the judge of the universe, and thank you for true justice. All these missing people shows I've seen through the years and cold cases. Listen, I found a psalm years ago that said, you are the forensic God. <laughs> he knows every hair on your head, every molecule, every DNA, every cell. I can't call it right now, but I'll find it. It says, you are the forensic God, and you know us down to the deepest levels. And people think they're getting away with something. I got news at the end of time, at the end of the day, it will be found out because he keeps a record. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed today. I really love this uh, so highly. And I remember we've been saying for the last month, probably six weeks, Matt really said, Dad, we got to do something. We got to start praying with an urgency and get right to the point. Well, I think Psalm 82 blasted it, <laughs> blasted the point off the planet, but it's so good. And again, thank you for all your support. We're here continuing. And Carla continuing. <laughs> She's about 170 days, 60 days in. It's amazing. <laughs> Half a year she's in being in the stream, which is truly amazing. She's never been in front of a camera before March 19th this year. So think about it. I said, girl, you tearing it up, man. You get your own fan base. But we love you guys, and thank you for all your support. I'm going to hand off to Matt. In Jesus' name. Yes, amen and amen. Welcome to Thursday's live stream. Let me get rid of that and that because I don't like that. Thursday's live stream, 4 p.m. Central Standard Time in the United States of America. You just joined us for that stream. And if you're joining us later, welcome to you as well. We do restream this one a little later on the Facebook platform. So if you can for me, like I always say, hit that like, hit that share button, whatever platform you're joining us from, be sure that you're hitting that like, hitting that share uh, while you're watching it because it's huge to this thing reaching as many friends as possible for those people being able to see um, all these videos that we put out. Uh, if they don't have their notifications turned on or whatever, Facebook and uh, YouTube and those platforms decide who is going to be shown that we're live. So if you do nothing else for us today, hit that like, hit that share. It's so uh, great to see these videos, to see you guys jumping on each and every day, lifting each other up in prayer, forging friendships, becoming the body of Christ um, that God is coming back for right here online all over the world. Worship, prepare, and prophetic community. That's what we're doing here. If you want to help support what we're doing, we're five, live five days a week here on the channel. Monday, Tuesday, Thursday at 4 p.m., Wednesday, Saturdays at 7 p.m. Lots of content, lots of stuff available that we leave up online for free. And uh, if you want to help support it today, you're looking at the screen. That's our, our Carriage House website. It's chman.org. You can click on that donations button. It'll take you to the don donations page where you can become a monthly supporter. You can do a one-time gift or you can do the 12 campaign. Those are all clickable buttons right there, those little rectangles that you see. And uh, those will take you to Give Lively, our platform that will help process all of that safe and secure like everything you buy online. So if you're comfortable buying online, check that one out. If you're not and you like to send in checks, you can still donate by check. Scroll down on that same page and you will see all the details about where to give, where to send those checks. Those checks have been coming in regularly. And again, this is because of you guys that we continually get to put these out. 
to join with you each and every day. So thank you, thank you, thank you to all of you know who you are who have sent them in that way. And it's been a huge blessing to see the Lord supply through that way. If you want to do the store, you can join us in the store. You can do 20% off of your order. If you're a first time uh, joiner, you can sign up right there, get that 20% off coupon sent to your email, or you can check out and get uh, 20% off of your order. So check that out if you're not familiar with that. We also have uh, ways to give right here within the store. So make sure you check that out if you're uh, uh, first time joining us today. We also have PayPal. It's paypal.me slash chmin or the username at chmin will be what you search for in the app if you're using that on your phone. But you can give right here, logged in safe and secure through PayPal. So if you're set up with PayPal, make sure you do that through this paypal.me slash chmin in your browser or at chmin from your phone. We also have a fundraiser set up each and every month for this streaming budget that you can do right there on Facebook. Pinned in the comments always are these links that I'm talking about. So check that out right there if you're joining us on the Facebook platform. We also have the stars available right there. So click on that star that's at the base. You can buy a bulk amount of them. They're worth one cent a piece. So this is a great way to give a small amount. You can give whatever amount you want after you've purchased them, but they're great for small amounts as there is a little bit of a fee that goes along with that as people have told us, but it's a great way to give a small amount if you want to do that right here. You can also do that through YouTube on the Super Chat. It's about the same thing. It's right there in your comments while we're live. You can click on that dollar sign. You can choose an amount you want to give. Send us a message that will stand out amongst all the other messages. And this is a great way to give if you're set up on YouTube to do that. Thank you to Lillian, who has given this week $10. Um, thank you. You know who you are if you've given this way, but you can also give through text if that works for you. It's CHM Give in the message box to 44321 or, C, or the Give 12 word in the message box to 44321. The phone number is kind of strange. It's just those five numbers. It will generate a link. Send it back to you. You can click on it. Again, Give Lively is our partner on this. So if you're uh, on your phone, you want to do this real quick, it's CHM Give in the message box. 44321. It'll send you a link and you can complete it all that way. And lastly, we like to tell everybody if you're on the Amazon platform shopping for your stuff, make sure you do it through the Smile program because nonprofits of your choosing can get this benefit of a half percent of everything you put. Nothing extra uh, to you in expense, but everything you put in your cart, half percent of everything you do sends a check to the ministry that helps these videos go out. And if you want to do it that way, it's an amazing way to do it. We love seeing you guys live each and every time. We will be live again this coming Saturday for Seeking Soaking Saturday night. If you've never joined us for that, make sure you do because uh, it's a different time of impartation on a Saturday evening where everybody comes together. We're doing worship and we're doing praise and prayer and everything. So join us for this Seeking Soaking Saturday night coming up here uh, over the weekend. We want to see, let some new people know, we want to see some new people joining us this weekend. So make sure you let somebody new know we're here. And in the meantime, guys, have a blessed day and keep your prayers going for change in your country, for your region here in America. We're, we're keeping our prayers going. So keep that up and we will see you guys on Saturday. Be blessed.